Hi, my name is Jared Chester. I'm part of the Bex PFR team at our London, Ohio site. And today we're excited to share with you the start of our new strip tillage study. So we've got some partners in this, in this study. First, we've got uh, Maverick Row Units from Yetter Manufacturing. We've got a Valmar Box from Salford. And the group at Finning Equipment has kind of helped us put the whole project together and get it up and going. We've received a lot of questions in terms of strip tillage. So the two main goals of this first year with this new study is to answer a couple questions. The first being is, is there an advantage to going to a system such as this? So a guy that's maybe broadcasting his fertilizer in the spring or fall and then no tilling or full conventional tillage, is there an advantage to actually banding the nutrients and then just doing the tillage in the strips? The second question that we want to answer and learn more about is can we be more efficient by banding our nutrients right where we're planting? So what we're actually doing this first year is we're actually going to have different rates in terms of what we broadcast versus what we band and see if we can be more efficient by banding those nutrients. To give you a further understanding of these Maverick Yetter units that we're running, we've got a notch colder to help cut residue before we actually start the tillage. Uh, we've got a set of uh, wheels to ensure depth. Um, the whole unit is actually on a set of parallel arms that have downforce springs, so it lets each individual unit be independent of the bar, similar to a planter row unit to better follow the contour of the ground. Uh, next, these units have a set of row cleaners to actually move that residue before we do the tillage. Then we've got the, the shank and then also the concave notch colders to hip that dirt. And then on the back there, we've got that paddle wheel just to help bust clods and mellow that planting strip for the following spring. Spring. So one interesting thing about this study is we're actually comparing banded versus broadcasted fertilizer. So to do that, we're actually going to do both applications with this unit. Um, we're simply going to broadcast and let the, this Valmar box then meter to those uh, deflector plates. That way, we take any variability in terms of going from rate to rate and from system to system to try and get this data as tight and as good as we possibly can. We got three of these strip bars for this first year of testing. What I think is going to be really interesting is we're setting this up as a multi-location, multi-year study. So it's going to be really neat in a few years to be able to compare each of those different locations starting fertility rates and their soil type and organic matter and then be able to correlate that and relate that to the results that we find. So stay tuned and we hope to bring you more updates coming this spring. Thanks and have a great day.